PYLC was founded with the vision of creating a more inclusive, tolerant and just society by training the next generation of leaders. BYLC instills in them values of public service and promotes active community participation to address the developmental challenges of Bangladesh. Building on the success of last year's month-long BBLT program in Chittagong, BYLC reached out to more than 90 schools and madrasas this year and received more than 250 applications. At least two people from BYLC's admission committee reviewed each application and after thorough screening, 60 students were shortlisted for the assessment day at IBA, University of Dhaka. The assessment day included group exercises and personal interviews where the candidates went through a rigorous evaluation process. Finally, 30 students were selected for the BBLT 2009 program, 10 from English medium, 10 from Bangla medium, and 10 from Madrasa. Each student received full scholarship support from the U.S. Embassy in Dhaka for attending BYLC's program. There are three components of BYLC's program, building bridges, leadership training, community service, and active citizenship. The opening ceremony of this year's BBLT program took place on June 19, 2009. The event was chaired by BYLC President Ijaz Ahmed, where the chief guest was Professor AAMS Arifin Siddiqui, Vice Chancellor, University of Dhaka. The guest of honor for the program was Mr. Esanul Fattah, Secretary of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, while Mrs. Rokia Akhtar Begum, Principal of Vikar Nisanoon School and College, was present as a special guest. BBLT 2009 started its journey on June 20th. Week 1 started at the BM Foundation premises, which became the melting pot of diverse talents and perspectives. The participants engaged in exciting group activities learning how to observe their surroundings and interact with each other. BYLC A program প্রথম সপ্তাহে আমরা শিখতে পারি যে লিডারশিপ মানে কোনো পাওয়ারফুল পজিশনে রাইজ করা না লিডারশিপ হচ্ছে সমাজ সমাজে কোনো ভালো একটা পরিবর্তন নিয়ে আসা লিডারশিপ হচ্ছে একটা অ্যাক্টিভিটি যেটা দিয়ে দর্শনকে সাথে নিয়ে আমরা মানব উন্নয়ন করতে পারি উইক 2 rather than having conventional frontal lectures the participants learned about leadership in week 2 through interaction diagnosis and experience as their lessons consisted of events occurring right before their eyes the large group was divided into five small groups. Every group had two students from each of the three educational mediums of Bangladesh. Here, they had the unique opportunity to learn about leadership from personal experiences of their very own team members. These real-life stories helped them relate to the concepts of leadership more deeply and better understand why people fail, what the dangers of leadership are and what responses they could develop to exercise leadership effectively. At the end of the second week, the group went on a recreational trip to Brack Center for Development Management, BCDM in Rajendrapur, Savar. It was a wonderful opportunity for the participants coming from diverse backgrounds to really bond with one another and understand each other's varying individual perspectives by taking part in numerous recreational activities. Week 3. The third week of BBLT 2009 began with a public speaking session. Each participant gave two short speeches, one persuasive and other informative, before a packed classroom. The audience was immersed in the intriguing speeches given by each participant ranging from pressing social issues to compelling personal narratives. After the public speaking session, the students were ready for community service. They started their week-long community service in Mirpur Toplok slum with a survey of the area. The participants went from door to door to find out how the destitute families in that area led their lives. After discovering the major problems faced by the people of that area, the five small groups outlined their community service projects. These projects were implemented in Mirpur and awareness campaigns of the same issues were carried out in the final part of the community service program, the day-long community service in Narandi village in Monohardi. Week 4. Each small group developed unique projects to help the impoverished families in the locality. Bohumatrik Kartshipi training and social awareness. Bohumatrik provided Kartshipi training, a form of embellishing clothing items, along with the provision of necessary equipment to 14 women from some of the destitute families in Mirpur Toblok slum. 
In Monohardi, they carried out awareness campaigns on gender bias, marriage of underaged girls, acid violence, and payment of dowry. They also planted 50 trees in Narandi village in Monohardi. Achinpur, sanitation and hygiene. Achinpur set up four toilets and a proper shower with proper bathing privacy for women, catering to the needs of up to 35 families living in the Thaw block slum. They also carried out a campaign in Monohardi, informing children about sanitation and hygiene through an original puppet show before 285 students. Nokshikatha, first aid and safety. Nokshikatha arranged first aid awareness campaign in a high school in Monohardi, worked with 100 girls from class 9 and 10, explaining to them about basic first aid and personal hygiene, waste disposal and management, as well as food safety. Each of the 100 girls were given first aid kits as presents. Furthermore, five dustbins and 12 brooms were donated for the classrooms. Nokshikatha, আমরাজকে এখানে প্রাথমিক স্বাস্থ্য সেবা আর ব্যক্তিগত সচেতনতা নিয়ে এসেছি আর আমরা যে স্লোগানটা নিয়ে আজকে এসেছি সেটা হচ্ছে সুস্থ পরিবেশে সুস্থ আমি এই স্কুলে 100 জন ছাত্রীকে ফার্স্ট এইড কিট দিচ্ছি আর সাথে আমরা পাঁচটা বিন আর 12টা ঝাড়ু দিচ্ছি ফার্স্ট এইড কিটটা দেওয়ার আমাদের উদ্দেশ্য ছিল যে সাধারণ ছোটখাটো দুর্ঘটনা এবং কিছু অসুখ হলে যাতে এই যে ছাত্রীগুলি যাদের সাথে আমরা কথা বললাম ওরা নিজেদেরকে নিজেরা সাহায্য করতে পারবে এবং ওদের পরিবারকে সাহায্য করতে পারবে আসলে সেই ফার্স্ট এইড কিটটা শুধুমাত্র একটা সুভেনির এই জিনিসটা তারা অল্প কিছু টাকার বিনিময়ে নিজেরাই ক্রয় করতে পারে কিন্তু আমরা যে জিনিসটা চেয়েছি সেটা হচ্ছে সচেতনতা আমরা প্রত্যেককে সচেতন করতে চেয়েছি যার ফলে যে কোনো দুর্ঘটনার পরে কিংবা যে কোনো সমস্যায় তারা যেন এই Lighthouse Health Awareness Lighthouse carried out a health awareness program on hepatitis B in Monohardi among students of class 5 to 10 of a local school which had around 300 students. Leaflets were also distributed both among the students and also the teachers so that they could later teach other students about this disease. They also arranged for 10 doctors to provide medical services to around 500 people. For this, they raised medicines worth taka 60,000 from Biopharma Limited, Renata, and Globe Pharmaceuticals. This health camp is scheduled to be held on August 12, 2009, which is the International Youth Day. Drubotara, Domestic Water Filtration. Amra Drubotara. Drubotara implemented domestic water filtration system developed after surveying 22 families in Mirpur Tablog. The team also conducted sessions in a school in Monohardi informing them about waterborne diseases, importance of clean water, and five different sources of clean and safe drinking water. আমরা চেষ্টা করেছি এমন একটা ফিল্টার বানানোর যার মাধ্যমে কোনো খুব কম খরচে একটা ফিল্টার বানানো যাবে যাতে বেশি পয়সারও খরচ হয় না আর একবার বানালে সারা জীবন সেটা থাকবে the final session of BBLT 2009 was held on July 22nd. It was a review lecture on all the concepts of leadership taught throughout the program. It was also a nostalgic day for the participants as they reflected on the months that they had spent together. I was it's not possible to get anyone else. Our, the reason I love PYLC can never be the reason of loving anything else. So it's a different economy. It's a different economy. We have a experience that we have to do with the people who have done it and the people who have done it. The graduation ceremony of BBLT was held on July 23rd, 2009 at Bragg Center in Auditorium, Dhaka. James F. Moriarty, U.S. Ambassador to Bangladesh, attended the program as a chief guest and distributed certificates among the participants. Dr. Gohar Rizvi, Honorable Advisor to the Prime Minister, attended the program as a guest of honor, and Dr. Athiyo Rahman, Governor of the Central Bank of Bangladesh, attended the event as a special guest. The program was moderated by Zafar Subhan, Chairperson of BYLC. In the closing speech at the event, Founder of BYLC Ajaz Ahmed said that BYLC hopes to continue organizing such youth leadership programs in the future. <laughs> <laughs>